goblin noises. Welcome to the Guilty Goblin. I'm a goblin, and today we're going to be fixing up my favorite orc sculpt ever, the Commando Knob from way back in 2005. Uh, first, we're going to start by giving it a quick wash to get rid of all the grime and muck that's built up, and then we're going to dunk it in this jar of paint killer. Uh, I think it's from scale 75. And I left in this jar for maybe three minutes. I came back and then I gave it a quick shake and the liquid turned black. So I knew we were already off to a good start. Give them a good scrub. Get them all cleaned up. And uh, just to show you here, I have snick rot as well. Just check how easy this stuff comes off. If you've been worried about stripping models, uh, yeah, go nuts with this stuff. It's it's so simple. And uh, commandos used to come on a 25 millimeter base, uh, slaughter base. But with the new rules, uh, that, and plus they're just too small and dinky, we're going to slap this guy on a 32 millimeter base with some super glue. And then we're going to assemble the rest of him. I already had the, the pin made, so I just reused that. Pop on the head. And here he is, ready to be primed. And so we've done just that. Uh, and if you can look close here, you can see I've already chipped it in a couple places. Um, I gave it a magenta undercoat. That's my favorite way to do orc skin, though I feel like I missed most of the key parts here, actually, so the final effect is not really that pronounced. But we start with some plague bearer flesh, and we apply this uh, all over, making sure to work it back and forth so it settles exactly where it wants to in the creases, making sure we don't have too much anywhere. And we do the same for the little grot up top here. Then we're going to take some Leviathan blue and I'm going to start blocking in his jeans here. Trying to establish some shadows and light spots but not really worrying too much about it. So yeah, that's where we're at. Two colors down, already starting to feel pretty good. Now we're going to block in everything that's going to be metal with uh, Black Legion. I really like Black Legion for this. Covers in, in one go. It's really smooth. Uh, and applying metals over a white just leaves them feeling a bit there. It just doesn't really do it. Especially if you're using uh, airbrush paints for that. Like even just brush on. So we keep blocking out the black. And then we remember that we missed his head. Thought he was wearing a sort of a skull cap kind of thing, but no, that's that's his actual skull. And pick out the t-shirt. Just get that done and put in a couple shadows. Then here I think we're just using straight snake bite leather. Getting the backpack done. And moving on to a nice coat of Bealton green for finishing up the skin. After that, it's pretty much done. Again, we move it around. We make sure it covers everywhere. If somewhere is too green or too yellow, just keep keep washing that stuff over until it looks how you want it. And we're going to do the same thing on the grot, but with uh, striking scorpion green, just to give them a slightly different tint from one another. And there we go. That's about all we're going to do to that skin. Then we're going to start blocking out some metallics. I have some gunmetal, but it's it's not quite dark enough, so I dropped a little black contrast paint in there. And start smashing that on super carefully. on everything we painted black so far. And then while we have the metallics out, we're gonna mix in a little copper color and just start establishing a bit of a base here on his fist. 
and then block out mistakes and other areas we need to be white before moving on to his little holster here. I took some snakebite leather, dropped in a bit of red contrast. Um, and while we have the red, we can get this dynamite stick. And the Space Marine helmet on the back here. Give it a nice little coat. I dumped some Leviathan blue into some Black Templar and watered it down a little, maybe a little too much. But you can see I came back in here and made it darker. Scratch up the leather, a little edge highlighting, just to bring out the more worn bits. The holster gets the same treatment. Just using the the edge of the brush there to catch the the ridges. And this uh, climbing rope here, I think I'm using Garagak sewer, just to to give it a bit of a a color there. Not too worried about it. Mixing up some Agrax Earth Shade and a little bit of Liquitex Sepia ink to start shading and like giving a little more vibrancy and life to most of the leathers. Little straps here holding big old bullets, as well as his, uh, his copper colored hand, which really brings it to life. Now we're going to start working on some hazard stripes. I'm just going to start laying down lines of black, not worrying too much about how straight they are, just trying to get it as, as good as I can. That one's not bad. Because whatever you mess up, you can just come back in with a little bit of white paint, clean up the white, which you'll inevitably mess up. And so you come back in with more black until I do that until I'm happy with it, and then cover it all in yellow. And boom, hazard stripes. We're gonna do his little goggles. Some, uh, I forget the name of this one. It's Doomfire Magenta and something orange. It's the one of the newer contrast paints. And while we have that, we're just gonna shade in the, the hazard stripes we just did by putting a dab down at the bottom and feathering it down. With a really bright metallic and silver, we're going to do some edge highlighting, a little scratching on his power claw. Just to make it look a little extra worn, extra nasty. And a little, little chip in. You know, he's been swinging this thing around. Paint's going to come off, and you can use this to hide some mistakes as well. I'm going to make sure we highlight very carefully. Th thank you, Kitty. Okay. So, are you saying it's time to take a break, or this is your... Oh, so that's your spot now. Okay. I, I, I guess I'll go get a snack. The cat lost interest finally, and we uh, we came back. We blocking in a couple details with some gold, popping in some white for the eyeballs. Being super careful. I think this is the first time I switch to a smaller brush. Draw a little stripe on the helmet here. Uh, I forget that there's a uh, two white stripes on the outside of that. One day I may go back and add them. And then block in the eyes of the Space Marine helmet. I'm using ball red contrast. Put a little white dot, a bit of reflection, specular reflection. Same for him. And then we go around and we pick out a few other unfinished details. Uh, apply a little rust and do the basing. And uh, there we are. Thank you so much for watching my second YouTube video. If you're still here, double thank you. Uh, thank you to everybody who subscribed. Uh, really, it's it's really motivating to to see a positive response to a completely naked YouTube channel like this. So I thank you all, and I hope to see you on the next one.